AI is breaking down our code bases faster than any human ever could. Sure, on the one hand, they accelerate the development process, but on the other hand, in the long run, they cause a lot of damage to our code bases. In this video, I'm going to break down four ways in which AI damages our code base and how to fix them. The first problem is that AI is inflating your code base with duplications. AI doesn't check if something already exists. Ask it for a button and it generates a brand new button every time. Then you ask it for a form and it generates a button for this form. Now just give it some time and your code base is adorned with 20 near identical buttons, each with its own quirks and bugs. The solution for this is to prioritize reuse before generation. Before generating new code, try to find existing services, utilities, or components that already implement the functionality you want to create. Maybe it's in your current repo, maybe it's in another one. As a rule, the more you break down your code base into small, well-defined components, the easier it will be for both your team and your AI to find them and use them rather than reinvent the wheel every time. The second problem is that your code gets fragile over time when you use AI. As anyone using these tools knows, AI happily and confidently introduces bugs. It also easily skips edge cases and misuses existing code. And we all know that generated code can work very nicely on its own, but then you integrate it and then you find out how messy it actually is. Well, the obvious solution is to review every line of code, right? But let's be real, none of us like going through someone else's code, especially at AI scale. So here are two ways we can make this more manageable. The first one is to keep your AI focused on small tasks. Limit your AI to bite-sized tasks where expectations are clear and integration risk is low. And then it has less room for errors and you won't be overwhelmed by the amount of code you have to review. The second one is to use TDD or test-driven development. As tempting as it may be, don't automatically delegate test writing to your AI. It doesn't think of all edge cases. It just doesn't. And when you define the test for the AI in advance and provide them as part of the context, it has a much better chance of understanding what it is that you actually want to generate. And maybe the most important thing, and like on a more personal note, thinking about logic and thinking about edge cases, that's one of our core competencies as developers. And I think we should aim to preserve that. Problem number three, is silent standards breakage. AI doesn't naturally understand your team's coding conventions or naming standards or security rules. And unless you enforce them every single time, it'll drift. It can just pull in the wrong library or it might hard code secrets or API keys directly into your code. The code it generates may look fine and pass tests but it's out of alignment with the standards that actually keep your system clean and safe. There are two solutions for this. The first is to teach your AI your standards upfront. How do you do that? Provide it with a standards context document. This document should contain things like um, coding conventions, which linters and formatters you use, standard libraries your team uses, um, maybe security rules you want to enforce. This way, its output has a better chance of complying with your standards from the get-go. The second solution applies after your AI has already generated the code. At this point, you enforce your standards by automating validation. As part of your build process, scan for forbidden imports, validate that your security rules have been adhered to, etc and make sure your build actually fails on those issues. Of course, you can automate it further so that these issues are automatically reported to your AI iteratively until it fixes them. Problem number four, the last one, is probably the most insidious over time. And this problem is context blindness. Context window, that is the amount of information available to the model in inference time, gets bigger from day to day. For example, at the time of making this video, Magic's LTM2 Mini has a context window of 100 million tokens. This sounds like a lot, right? And it's supposedly great. But in reality, most of it, like 99.9% .9 of it, is noise. That is, it's irrelevant to whatever the model is actually trying to generate. 
And worse yet, it might not even contain the information the model really needs because the functionality it really needs lives in another repo. So what will it do? What it does best, write the logic from scratch. And again, you end up with duplicate business logic simply because your AI didn't have the right context. So let's talk about context availability. The solution is not a bigger context window. It's making sure the AI sees the right context, the relevant context. That means connecting it to all and only the relevant parts of your system. How do you do that? You can create a cross repo index of APIs, functions, tests, whatever components in your system you want to reuse. And when generating, provide it as context to the AI, but make sure you provide it with only the relevant index entries. For example, you're building a signup form. The AI writes its own password strength checker right there in the front end, but the real logic already lives in your auth service. If the system points the AI to that API contract, it now knows to call the existing endpoint instead of generating it from scratch. Bottom line, AI coding isn't inherently bad for your repo, but without proper guardrails, it will make a mess faster than any human ever could. Now let's do a quick recap. We talked about code base inflation, AI generating fragile code over time, um, standards breakage, and context blindness. The solutions we talked about were to prioritize reuse over generation of code, to componentize your code base as much as possible, to limit your requests to small tasks for the AI, to use TDD and actually define the tests yourself, to teach your standards to the AI, and to automate validation for the code it already generated, and to index your components and provide them as context, but only the relevant ones. Now, you can manually implement each of these fixes and dramatically improve the maintainability of your code base. There are plenty of tools out there to help you with that. There are linters and CIs and graph databases, the works. But if you don't want to work so hard, there's actually a system that handles all of the things we talked about by design. Hope AI is a coding tool that is built precisely to solve all these issues. It acts as your AI native architect and is guided by your own code base and standards. It uses a live component graph to index all your components. So each time you ask it to generate new code, it first searches to see if this functionality already exists and uses it if it does. And if it doesn't, it tries to find other relevant components it can actually use as dependencies. Whatever it does, it tries to avoid building from scratch as much as possible. And the components it generates are fully documented and tested. You can check it out at bit.cloud. Finally, I'd love to hear about your experiences with AI coding tools. Um, do you also experience similar problems? Or maybe you have more ideas on how to prevent AI from making a giant mess in your code base. Let me know in the comments.